all righty it's your boy zeoxis and today we're going to be talking about how to get the purple levels on a character right now this video in theory should be very short because i don't think i need to explain much about it i'll try to like go over it quickly and kind of cover the main things about it but um like i guess how to get matched for it too because i know someone's going to question that but i already have a video on that if you want to watch my transcendence guide that video is going to be very important for this topic so if you guys want to watch that you guys can check it out um and also subscribe if you're new we're on the road to 10k we are close to 5.8k so thank you guys all for the massive support and um yeah so basically i guess i should explain like what purple levels are what they mean how you get them all that stuff because a lot of people have asked me this question right like a lot of people in discord even in comments they always ask when they see it on a video right it's so and i've never made a video on it so i guess i should go over it i guess right so what these purple letters are like, i guess i should bring up a character who has them right where is my eyes and he is the soul 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 embodiment of this so um these letters here purple pink whatever color you see i see purple i see pink i guess purplish pink right but this means right oh i guess you can't see it this right here means that a character is max transcendence right and what max transcendence means is that they are fully duped up right in any other games when you need multiple copies to completely max them out that's what they mean right in this game you only need a total of five copies of a character to max out a character now you can have five copies of a character and they still might not be purple right and i can show you guys um because i do have some characters who are i believe like just five like dupes in but they're not you know purple at all so let me just find it real quick soul trait um I, not soul trait one second for example this toshiro right he also has five levels in him but as you can see his level is still orange up here on the top right um, reason being is because his transcendence isn't level, right? This doesn't have to be three star for it to be, you know, max level. What has to be, um, or for it to be purple, this doesn't have to be three stars for the level to be uh, purple, right? In order to have your level be purple, you must level up all five of these stats to level 10, right? So obviously I can't do it, um, right now. But yes, when you get every single one of these five, right? The first five, no matter what it is, when you get every single one of them to level 10, they will then become pink, purple, whatever color you see, right? Now, obviously, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, you, you're going to need transcendent scrolls. Like, I guess if we go back there, right? I have a video on where to get transcendent scrolls, best places to farm them. So definitely check out that video. Um, for essence scrolls, I believe I showed that there too, I'm not 100% sure, so I guess I'll just, like, I guess show you guys right here, right? So you can even just click on it, right? And it will tell you where to go, right? You can get them from Chronicle Quest Exchange, um, Epic Raid Metal Exchange, or Extreme Co-op um, Metal Exchange, right? So you can just literally click on all these materials, I guess not for the scrolls, right? The ones that have the question mark, you can click on them, and they will tell you where they currently are, right? If you are able to currently farm them, right? So... As you see, I guess because I already have these ones, it's not really saying. Um, but if we go to, like, I have these ones, right? So it's not going to say. But when you can just click on it, and it will tell you exactly where to go for these, right? So as you see, you can get right now the large scrolls from Transcendence Trials um, and the Raid Shop, um, Epic Raid Metal Exchange Shop, right? Um, I think there's more places you can get them from, obviously. It's just right now I don't have them unlocked, all right? Right, I believe you can get them from Extreme Co-op too, but like right now Extreme Co-op is not like running, right? So yeah, if you do go to Extreme Co-op Metals, you can get large growths here, right? Um, but it's not open right now. So if you have Extreme Co-op Metals, then go ahead and get them. But essentially, that is how you get these characters pink purple level right that's how you get them right you need five copies of the character and they must all be the first five slots must be level 10 this here does not need to be three star you don't even need to have a slot here this does not matter one bit and let me show you guys actually just so that you know because i have my ishin who is also or even my um orihime for example my orihime is five out of five you can see she's pink, but she has a level two star SP here, right? So pink, purplish, uh, but she yeah, has two star down here, right? So they do not need anything here just to have these level 10. So hopefully this covered the video, right? I think 
um it's pretty straightforward right it's nothing really too deep to go into right that's why i said it in the beginning this is probably going to be a shorter video but let me know if this video was helpful for all the people who are wondering how you get purple levels right i know some of you guys you know just here you need to have a character five five and when you get them five five you guys are mad confused so hopefully 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 this video was helpful but um for now that's going to be it today I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.